Combat proficiency in the use of firepower means not only a high level of individual and crew skills, but the ability of commanders to maneuver their forces in response to constantly changing situations. Periodically, units of the division are given the order to move out on an operational readiness test to see how well all the various skills work in combination. Unexpected developments are provided by troops who play the role of aggressors. Before the division's mechanized units get fairly rolling, they may find themselves in the middle of an ambush. They may have to deal with simulated chemical warfare, in addition to, or combination with, more conventional forms of enemy action. If the men of the 3rd Infantry Division find their days and weeks pretty well crammed with activity, this is surely nothing new to them. Soldiers who have worn the blue and white patch have always been in the thick of the action, wherever it was, since the unit began over half a century ago. Weapons, equipment, tactics, the fighting structure of the unit itself have changed over the decades. The fighting spirit remains the same. Their responsibility today is to stay ready for combat, and by that very readiness, to help assure that actual combat will not occur. This is the meaning and the mission of the NATO shield, of which the 3rd Infantry Division is a part. What Marne men learned in World War I, World War II, and Korea stands them in good stead today. The sheer combat statistics regarding this unit are impressive number of crucial battles fought and won, the number of times the entire unit has received citations for its combat effectiveness, the unmatched number of its men who have won the right to wear the nation's highest award, the Medal of Honor. But statistics are cold. Only when we remind ourselves that the numbers refer to men and their lives and their effective actions in the face of hardship, danger, and death, only then do the statistics come into focus in their real meaning. And the gist of that meaning is this. The 3rd Infantry Division has been from the first, and now is, ready. But the fact is, to keep such a highly mechanized unit ready takes much more than constant training. 